Are you ready for this? Now, this is the same thing basically we've been doing in the videos above, okay? They're up there somewhere with a major little quirk. Major little quirk, whatever it is. Okay. Once again, the doctor orders some amount. That's what you're supposed to give your patient. But you think, well, let me check this out and see if it's safe or not. Now, the other ones, you had some drug book or the drug label. You went somewhere and said, oh, it was, you know, a safe amount was blah, 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 some number. Here, look at the difference. And this is a more common thing to be done, by the way, where there's a range of numbers that's safe, meaning anything between 5 and 10 milligrams per kilogram per day is a safe amount to give. Not just one number, but a range of numbers, a lower and a higher. You do it the same way, it's just now we have two numbers to deal with. We have a lower number, 5, and an upper number, 10. So here's how you do it. Just, you put both of them down. The least amount that's safe is five milligrams per kilogram per day. The upper limit, the greatest amount that's safe is 10 milligrams per kilogram per day. Now I'm doing the same thing to both of those numbers. I'm multiplying both of those by the patient's weight in kilograms. Well, let's see. What's that? I take 26. Patient weighs 26 pounds. Cute little kiddo. Let's see. What am I doing here? 26 divided by 2.2. 11.818. Blah, 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 blah. You're getting tired. I know. So I can write this down as 11.8, but the best thing is just leave that there in the calculator. And same thing here. 11.8. There's a dot right there, by the way. So I'm doing the same thing to both my lower number and my higher number. Well, 11.8 kilograms times the lower number of five milligrams per kilogram per day. Kilograms cancel out and times five, that is 59.09. Let's call it 59.1. 59.1 what? Milligrams per day. So milligrams per day that's the least amount, the fewest, the lowest amount I can safely give my patient. Not any patient, but a 26 pound patient. I do the same thing with the upper limit. I take that 11.8, whatever, 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 and I can multiply it by 10, and that is 118.1818181818 goes to infinity and beyond. So the upper limit, is 118.2, well, okay. But again, milligrams per day. Now, please understand what we're doing at every step along the way. That's why you need to keep track of the words. Cancel out what can be canceled and what's left. Milligrams per day. So for the whole day, and it may say per 24 hours, that's a common way it puts it. For the whole 24 hours, I can give anywhere between 59.1 milligrams and 118.2 milligrams. And you may be, you will be asked that on many of the homework problems. And perhaps on the quiz, you know, what's a safe amount to give per day? What's the range? What's the lowest? What's the highest? That's it. But I need to know per dose, in divided doses, what's a safe range? Well, I have to divide each of those by the number of times per day that it's given. And what's that? Well, TID means three times a day. So I take each of those separately and divide those by three. So if I divide this number by three, let's see what we got there. Divide that by three, and that's eight point, that's not right. One, eight, something, my computer messed up here. It does that sometimes just as a joke. Divided by three is 39.39, 39, 39, 39, so. 39 point, call it four milligrams. But that's per dose. What's my least amount? I take this number. And again, it's better to use the whole thing, not a rounded off version of that. And I divide that by three. Well, what does that end up being? That's 19.7, rounded off. What do I know now? For my patient who weighs 26 pounds, 
not any other size patient, but for my patient, what is a safe amount I can give my patient? Anything between 19.7 milligrams and 39.4 milligrams. That's per dose. That's a safe amount I can give per dose. Now I need to see, is the doctor's order safe? Or whoever's order, the licensed prescriber. Well, what was prescribed? 25. Where is that within this range? Why, right there in the middle. It's between those two numbers. So it's safe. You see why? It's, if it's lower than this, it's not safe. If it's above this, it's not safe. But it is in that range, so yes, it is safe. Now, do a little more what if in here in some uh, theoretical aspects. You've all probably been to some carnival. You went to have some carnival ride or been to some big amusement park like Disneyland or Six Flags, somebody, and there was this ride. You went, I want to ride, I want to ride. Well, there's a line down here. <laughs> okay, a line down here. And a line up here. It'll say, can you see that line right there? Oh, yeah, you can, okay. If you're under this line, you can't ride, you're too short. If you're taller than this, you can't ride. But if you're in this range of, 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 of heights, you can ride. That's what this is. If the order is lower than this, you can't ride. It's not safe. If the order is higher than this, it's not safe and you can't ride. Meaning, what if not? This, the order was 25. What if it had been 45? Mm -mm, it's over that number. Can't do it. You don't do it. What if the order was 15? No, uh -uh. it's below this. You don't do it. If it's in this range, it's safe. If it's not, you don't do it. And you have to call up the licensed prescriber and ask what's going on and what do we do? But since it is safe, now keep going. What am I going to give? Well, this. I'm going to give the 25 milligrams that's been prescribed. So I take the 25 milligrams that my licensed prescriber prescribed. That's wordy. And do a dosage calculation problem. I have four, some, whatever the bottle is, 40 milligrams per milliliter. So 40 milligrams in each milliliter. And there's my dosage calculation. So I take 45 divided by 40, and I'm going to give 0 0.63. That's the rounded off correct answer. Please don't mess this up. I'm comparing this order that I was given to something. Am I comparing this to these two numbers? No, of course not. Am I comparing this number to these two numbers? No, that's the per day amount. That's how much I'm going to get for the whole day. I'm comparing this, this number. That's how much I am told to give per dose. I'm comparing this to these two numbers. And if this number that was ordered is between these two numbers, it's safe. If it's outside that range, it is not safe. Now there are, I'm going to do a few more of these to get the hang of this, but that is the basic thing you'll see most of in this chapter, in the homework. And the most you'll see in the practice quizzes and the real quiz. It's this type of thing where there is a range that you'll see there.